everyone and welcome to Miss Maurice's classroom. Today, we're going to focus on the first read of a selection using comprehension strategies. The goal of comprehension strategies is to turn responsibility for using these strategies over to students as soon as possible. These strategies are like predicting, summarizing, clarifying. Research has shown that students' comprehension and learning problems are not a matter of mental capacity, but rather their inability to use strategies to help them learn. Expert readers use strategies to help make sense of text and to get the most out of what they read. We have a new genre for today, boys and girls, and it's called informational text. Not a fairy tale like last week. Remember the fairy tale? No, it's going to be actually informational text. Informational text often has real photos and pictures to help explain maybe places, people, events. So let's take a look at this exciting story, boys and girls, because we're really going to find out what happens in the desert. In fact, our essential question, boys and girls, is how do animals survive in the desert? So as we're reading, and as I model our comprehension strategies, let's take a look at our comprehension strategies for today. I'm gonna to ask questions while we read. We're gonna visualize and actually think of images that once, when, when we close our eyes and actually see the description of the selection, what do we visualize as we read? Are we visualizing that this desert is hot, this, this, this desert is scary. Let's think about how, what things that we visualize. I'm also going to clarify as we read because sometimes there are things that are confusing, confusing maybe images, confusing text, confusing photos. So we're going to do all these three strategies, everybody. Say those with me. We're gonna ask questions, we're gonna visualize, and we're going to monitor and clarify. Excellent. Here we go, everybody. Let's take a look at our title. Day and night in the desert, everybody. One more time, day and night in the desert. Okay, and what's our essential question? How do animals survive in the desert? And this is by the editors of Click Magazine. Oh, so a magazine actually produced this um, selection. Illustrated by Paige, Bill, and Fry. What did Paige, Bill, and Fry do? Gave us all these beautiful images, huh, boys and girls? All these illustrations. Okay, here we go, are you ready? Let's begin learning about the desert and learning more about informational text. Here we go, everybody. In late spring, the desert is very hot and dry, but it is full of life. During the cool night, a beautiful saguaro cactus flower blossoms. Oh, interesting. Wildflowers grow in the desert sun. Oh, wow, boys and girls, look at these wildflowers. They're able to grow in the desert sun. Didn't we think that we needed water? to grow all these flowers? Hmm, let's find out. In the morning, painted lady butterflies suck nectar from the wildflowers growing in the sun. Wow, cigar cactus blossom lasts only one day in the hot desert sun. Did you hear that, boys and girls? These flowers only last one day in the hot desert sun. That is so interesting. You know what, boys and girls, before I, I turn the page, let's visualize. This, this description was so vivid, I can actually close my eyes and visualize. Can everybody close their eyes for me and visualize? I can visualize being in that desert and how hot it is. I actually can see some of these wildflowers growing, and I actually can visualize some of these animals walking around and, and searching around for food. Does anybody else visualize anything? Just remember, everybody, that in order for students to understand text and to comprehend, you have to model things. One time, I actually said, let's close our eyes and visualize without giving a model. And a little boy said, Miss Russo, I close my eyes and I just see black. So you gotta model. Otherwise, what, what do they see when they're closed their eyes? Just black. So let's continue. Nearby, a hungry lizard watches it soon snaps up a butterfly and scurries away. Scurries away, boys and girls. What do you think scurry means again? Yeah, runs fast. Then it rests on a rock warmed by the sun. Lizards have to eat too. Huh, lizards have to eat too. That's true, it's a living thing. They have to eat. Boys and girls, let's look at these images here. Horned lizards hide by lying on wood or rocks that look like their lizard skin. They can hide on rocks. These horned lizards can hide on rocks, boys and girls, and kind of camouflage. 
So they, they look like the actual wood or the rock that they're on. Isn't that cool? Wouldn't that be cool if we can camouflage and change? That'd be so great. This Western whiptail lizard has long claws to dig for food and catch insects. Oh, this one has long claws to catch insects. This is called the Western whiptail lizard. I never heard of him before. Let's look at this one. Collared lizards run on their two back legs to escape danger. Oh, so they, they actually run on their back legs, these types of lizards, interesting. Now, you know what, boys and girls, I gotta clarify something. There's something confusing going on here because I actually see two types of text. Did you notice that, everybody? I see actual text for the selection and for the story, but I also see these images here with different types of text that give us more detailed information. So during the selection, everybody, we wanna make sure we focus on two types of text, not just the part of the story, but also the ones that give us more detail and more information about each desert animal and about each living thing in the desert. A young snake slithers by very quietly. It strikes quickly and gobbles up the lizard. The snake won't be hungry for the rest of the day. The snake won't be hungry for the rest of the day? Wait, let me see here. He gobbles up the lizard. Hold on, boys and girls, I have a question. I have a question for you. Let me just see something. Um, I thought that, okay, the, the, the butterfly eats the nectar. Hold on here. The lizard eats the butterfly. I, I, I'm confused. At first I thought the story was about a butterfly, but now I'm seeing that the liz lizard eats the butterfly. Then the snake eats the lizard. So what is the story really about? Hmm, let's think about this. What could the story really be about? Do you think it's, it's how these animals live in their habitat? Could that be true? Let's continue reading and find out if that's our, our prediction is correct. Regal ring-neck snakes show their bright undersides to keep enemies away. Oh, interesting. They have bright undersides, these snakes. Even baby rattlesnakes have sharp teeth. But even the baby rattlesnakes? Oh, wow, boys and girls, look at that image. You see how this text gives us a lot of information that I honestly didn't know, boys and girls. This is a magnificent. New Mexico milk snakes like to eat lizards. Oh, so these milk snakes actually like to eat lizards. Hmm. Most desert animals stay hidden in the shade during the hot afternoon, but at sunset, the desert begins to cool. Oh, the desert begins to cool at sunset, boys and girls. Hmm, let's read more about these animals. Roadrunners can't fly very well, so they run fast instead. Oh, these roadrunners don't fly. They run fast, okay. Roadrunners stay cool during the hot afternoons by standing in the shade. That's smart. I would stand in the shade in the hot afternoon. A barrel cactus, look at this. A barrel cactus is named for its barrel shape. Oh, it has a shape of a barrel. Interesting. A road runner darts out from behind a barrel cactus. Road runners are very quick. The snake is a nice treat. What did the road runner just eat? The snake. So maybe this actually is about how desert animals survive in their habitat. So we've answered our question, boys and girls. This selection is actually about how animals survive in their habitat. And it's about the food chain. Remember we talked about the food chain last week? This is the food chain in the desert. This is so exciting. I'm learning more and more. Are you excited? Thumbs up if you're excited. In the evening, a coyote waits in the darkness. It has begun its night of hunting to bring food to its family. Coyotes are clever hunters and can pounce quickly on their prey. Can you imagine, boys and girls? They can pounce quickly. What does that mean? They can grab quickly, huh, and jump. Road runners are active during the day and sleep in nests at night. Hmm, they sleep in nests at night. That's interesting. So they don't do anything at night but sleep. That's a good idea. A coyote feeds her pup from her mouth. A coyote feeds her pup from her mouth. Isn't that sweet? She, she takes care of her pup. That's very sweet, boys and girls, but I think it's a good time to visualize. Everybody close our eyes and think about desert at night. Let's think about what that, what that must feel like and what that must look like.
Okay, let's visualize. And I'd like to get some, some um, responses from some of you of what you visualize the desert at night to be. And here's an example, everyone, of how we model comprehension strategies and how to think out loud, everybody, because once they know comprehension strategies, they can apply this into their own reading and feel successful at comprehension. Thank you so much for your time today, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye. For more lessons on comprehension and how to develop comprehension strategies, count on Open Court Reading with its proven research and five-decade legacy.